Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Today we're gonna talk about um, there's this app called Scandi Pro, and Scandi Pro is an app that you you pay like bi-weekly or monthly. Um, and basically, if you have like an iPhone 10, you can do like a 3D photogrammetry scanning very very easily. Um, it has few limitations, but uh, it is actually uh, pretty good. And I'm gonna show you uh, a couple of example. So for example, the other day I went to a museum and I did a couple of uh, 3D scan. Uh, this is a bunch of them. Um, it, is, it seems to be scanned quite nicely uh, within the bounding box and mostly it's just like a, a bit like two and a half D. Um, there's a couple more example. Okay, this is the, like the angle, uh, this angel. Um, there's also Okay, this is a nice one uh, that, that I took from the from the nearby park, but basically uh, it export out um, an OBJ or PLY that comes with a vertex color, and it, it is not something that you um, you can easily export into texture. But I'll show you how you can do it uh, using Blender. You probably already know this trick, but uh, I'm gonna show it to you again anyway. So I'll be using the PLY. And let's grab um, from the downloads folder. So from this app, Scandi Pro, and let's grab this one. Oops, this one is uh, my scan. So that's not the one I want. Okay, this one. All right, this is the the Buddha statue. So it's a uh, this is the result of the scan. You, you might see that there's like no textures whatsoever, but this guy comes with a vertex color. Um, nope, it's not. Let me see. I think I might be using the wrong blender. Uh, this is 3.6.2. Oh, that's why. All right, 3.6.2 doesn't actually import uh, the PLY properly. Interesting. So let me quickly check this, import um, PLY and go to Downloads, Scandi Pro and is this this one? I hope that's my scan but anyhow this one comes with color. So file, import, PLY, PLY tends to bring in uh, the vertex color. So remember that if you ever have like 3D mesh that should contain like a vertex color uh, from the app, then you need to use PLY. There you go. This one has a uh, vertex color information. So file, save as, this is a, uh, let's just save it over here. This is a uh, Scandi Pro Vertex 2 Texture. I'm gonna show you the whole process. We will be using Cycles Render for this. So let's first of all rotate this very, very quickly and grab it up. So put it on the floor and maybe fix, fix the rotation a little bit. First of all, let's, uh, let's uh, create a material so we can see the textures. So create a new material and go to the notes tree and over here not spare chalk uh, under materials you can assign um, emission and here you can use attribute nodes and specify the vertex color so this guy vertex color is called coil call plug it into emissions plug into surface and you should be having uh, you can see the texture now uh, this there's these extra bits that you don't want you can go to edit mode and if you just use a selection like this you can select but you can see it's it's not selecting all the points so you need to turn on this turn off this uh, option X to delete vertices now you have a clean scan it's a it's not like full 3d scan at the moment but uh, it's pretty cool still you can do this pretty easily and on the fly, almost on the fly. It's a real-time point cloud collection anyway. 
so of course you can also use the diffuse if you want to play around with the with the light um yeah this should go there uh okay it's not it's not actually a texture so at the moment it's just a, a color prefer text so let's see how we can bake this very very quickly so let's get rid of this light first uh, we need to have a uv first um so with this guy selected tap space bar and just do a smart uv projection this is gonna take a few seconds uh, because this scan is uh, quite high res hopefully okay not too long okay cool it's done i'm gonna save the blend and the process of baking is actually really easy once you know it you basically need to have an image texture so go to uv image textures create a new textures and let's call it scan and then okay so this is just blank black color but we can create a new nodes here image texture nodes and selecting our our image basically with this guy being selected and our objects being selected as well just go to under uh, render panel here and just do a bake so bake with just the emit that's all and you just bake it and then wait a few seconds this will transfer as a, a proper texture so you can save image as scan and then use it over here so simply use the diffuse maybe plug it there and now you can use a proper lamp hopefully um, so yeah, that's basically the idea I think maybe I need to use like a principle should look a little bit better okay when it's rendered and if I'm using like a strong light like a like a Sun we can start to adjust the lightning something like that so it's kind of cool um, so Scandi Pro is doing pretty good is uh, it still can be improved I think um, currently I'm testing the their subscription like a, I'm paying like a for a weekly I'm paying around five or yeah I think around five dollars for a week and I can use it uh, like an unlimited scanning um, yeah but anyhow these objects now has a proper UV map and also it has the this uh, texture color ready for you to, uh, to just export it out as obj and you can create like um, apple usdz for the ios 12 and you can you can kind of send it to your friend and they can see it as um, ar so there you go that's how you can use blender uh, with all this um, app stuff and iphone 10 to create like a 3d photogrammetry that you can share all right hopefully you enjoyed this and i'll see you next time thank you bye